everyone, welcome back to my world. And it seems like something is different. This is my first time reviewing slash reacting to a comic book that I actually really love. It's called the Candy Series. I will be covering the story, the art style, the characters, the cover. Without further ado, let's look at the cover. I absolutely love the cover. It shows the three main characters, Mia, Joni, and Amelia singing. Why does this look like it was made before the book? This book is called Reaching for the Stars and the topic is friendship. As you can see, the art style is not that great, to be honest. It's okay, it's the first book. I'll forgive it. At the back, we see some characters that we don't know yet until we actually read the book. Best friends Joni and Mia are assigned to team up with their aloof classmate Amelia for a school singing contest. Between Joni's tone deafness, Mia's shyness, and Amelia's stubbornness, will the girls learn to get along and win the singing contest? Let's just go on to the book. We got candy meal and a little bit of the of the team. A little cute little chibi characters of them. The contents, the forwards. Go buy the book if you want to read them. Here's the characters. Ooh. Mia, Joni, Amelia. Candy Meow is un quite unnecessary to put here because it looks so crowded. But oh well, it's okay. It's the first book. Christina. Christina. That's not her name. Her name is now Christina. Zara. Zara is the same. Sophia. So P H E A. So F E A. Which one do you prefer? They sound exactly the same, but Mikael, not Michael, okay? Cute little Jimmy illustrate. I'm getting distracted. A brand new school year is starting. Good morning. Good morning, Joni. Morning. Oh. Hey, Mia. Good morning. Good morning to you too, Joni. You're always so cheerful, even early in the morning. He's starting today with fifth years. And the most exciting thing is, my best friend is my classmate. Yay! Ah, oh, so close. Come on, let's get good seats in the classroom before they're all gone. So basically, they're friends and they're really happy they got into the A class, which I am very confused about Joni about because they make lots of jokes about how she fails her classes. How did she get in the A class? Mia yeah, bumped into the princesses. Boom, boom, boom. The four students were rich and have princess syndrome because, you know, the mean girls. Yeah. And then Amelia's like, don't bother them. We just talk to them, they'll just drag us down to our level. Uh, I also want to point out that the bell is not a bell and it also doesn't sound like a bell. You know, bells are like, ring. This is, ring. Hello, this is editing me. I forgot to mention that this book includes learning, see, very fun, and the learning in this book is actually music stuff, but the topic is friendship, so that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Then we meet the class teacher, Miss Miyuki. Good morning everyone, I'm Miss Miyuki and I'll be your class teacher. Let's work together for a productive and successful year. Girl, what is wrong with your face? I have an announcement to make. Our school will be holding a singing contest. I know it's your first day of school, but um, we're going to hold a contest, okay? A singing contest. And for some absolute how, Mia and Joni have to be in the same team. And also, Amelia too. No way! This is a total nightmare! 
Uh, I was so looking forward to the contest. Um, Amelia, about what happened this morning? I'm sorry I bumped into you. Could you please forgive me and practice with us? I'm sorry too. I hope you'll forgive us. Anyway, since we're in the same group, I, I hope you don't mind practicing with us. Fine, I'm free today anyway. Yeah, yay, let's go practice! Great! Now we're at the corner of the compound. Joni wants to sing the Monster Ranger theme song, which this is a, this is not Monster Ranger. This is a rip of Ultraman. Anyway, they sing the song called The Journey, and Amelia finds out that Mia is a very, very good singer. Somehow, don't know how, I can't actually imagine what her voice sounds like. And then she also finds out that Joni is a bad singer. Forever! This, this song is clearly beyond her vocal range. She's completely tone deaf. I cannot allow her to fool around anymore. I must drown out her voice of mine. Uh, on this journey, together with you, my heart beats faster. Ah, on this journey, together with you, I am no longer alone. <laughs> okay, while they're quarreling, this random creepy dude that was hiding in the trees, that was spying on them, says their singing is terrible. Which, yeah, they are. It is. But who are you? Oh, and by the way, Mia has a crush on him. It's none of your business, you weirdo monkey! Why are you spying on us? You should understand your vocal range before singing. Don't tell me you haven't tested your vocal range yet. Mind your own business, or I'll teach you a lesson! <laughs> uh, maybe he's right! Let's practice some more. Let's not. Huh? It's useless to practice with a tone-deaf person in the group. We're doomed to lose no matter what. I better not take part in the contest at all and be disgraced along with you. Amelia? Uh, morning. Why is your voice so hoarse, Joni? It was fine yesterday. It's nothing. It's been like that since this morning. Maybe... Maybe I'm getting the flu. <laughs> it turns out that Joni was practicing really hard, but didn't actually improve. Yeah. Joni may be a little brash and inaccurate in her singing, but she's really not that bad. That is still completely off key. Uh, you don't understand vocal technique at all. If you keep on practicing with brute force like this, you'll only hurt your throat. I I know I have no singing talent or skills, but I'm still determined to participate in this singing contest. I promise that I will work hard to meet your standards, so please practice with us. Let me warn you, I am very strict. I won't allow any complaints from either of you. Yes! Sophia came here to insult them. Again. How could you talk like that? Isn't Amelia your friend? Oh ho ho, she said she's our friend. We will never regard peasants like you as friends. And anyone who mingles with you isn't worthy of us either. And besides, your rivals aren't we? You're no match for us. No matter how much you try, you'll still lose to us. Just give up already. Ugh. Listen up, you snobs! Amelia is our friend! Just wait and see. We'll definitely win the singing contest. You guys better prepare yourselves because we're gonna beat you so hard you're gonna cry! <laughs> oh, I couldn't help it. They were being mean to my friends. Friends, huh? I kind of like the sound of that. Ooh, you're blushing! I am not. Anyways, Amelia trains Joni to sing, and meanwhile, what is Mia doing? She's sewing something. Something actually really cute. <laughs> Please hold out your hands. I don't know why, but... Uh, oh, this is... I made these plushies for the three of us. They are symbols of our friendship, so we three will always be together. I even 
thought of the name for our group, Candy Jim. By the way, that monkey weirdo guy was still watching. You again? What do you want from us? It's him again. <sighs> you aren't a student here, are you? Who are you anyways? And what's your problem with our chorus? My name is Mikael. There were many parts where you went out of tune. But none of you girls noticed it, especially you. If you don't fix your pitch, you won't win the contest. If you want to get better at singing, meet me in the school's music room next Monday. As it will go, go away! He's so cool! Do people actually ship them? Anyways, during the class contest, they sing pretty good. Until, of course, Sophia and her team, the Red Roses, came and stole the thunder away. And, yeah, it turns out both of them won. Group 5 and Group 6. Wow, the main characters. <laughs> Sorry, background characters. I guess you won't be winning anything. Don't you get it? It's obvious that Sophia's team is way better than us. Even though we've made it to the finals, there's no way we can defeat them the way we are now. No! I don't get it! That's because you don't understand anything about singing. Singing skills? Vocal range? I don't understand all that music theory stuff at all! All I know is that I love singing! Even if I can't sing well, even if we can't win, I don't want to give up! Sorry for ruining the moment, but what is Joni wearing? Somebody wears like that? What? Hmm, I think we may have a chance. Huh? So they come to the music room and go find the, this monkey guy, Mikael. And yeah, and then this happened. Ho oh, oh. ho. I don't mind, but it seems that someone doesn't want my help. Unless that person asks me nicely, I will lend a hand. You, Joni! Uh, please train us! <laughs> Kyle then trains Joni from the very beginning because she's not good at singing. I'm jealous that Joni's receiving special lessons from Mika. Isn't it great, Mia? Huh? Oh, yeah! But the red roses. Is a little suspicious about it because they were depressed yesterday and now they're like happy now. What's happening? I don't know. This is the song we picked for the finals. Superstar! I see, a fast song. If you want to sing it well, then you'll need to polish your singing skills even more. Alright then, for singing fast songs, the most important thing is your lung capacity. Starting today, you'll run for one hour before practice. This will build up your strength. Don't stop. <laughs> We're too tired. Okay, we'll begin practice now. I would like to point out, he said he's going to uh, meet him at Monday. And then they went to school the day before they went to the music room. So, did they go to school on Sunday? Are they... I'm so confused. Anyways, the Red Roses find out that the candy jam has improved very, very much. So, what do they do about that? They plot something evil. And candy jam work on their dancing routine. Mia then gets jealous of Joni because Mika is pay paying more attention to Joni than to her. Seriously, do anybody ship them? You've all worked hard today. You've all got your performance routine down. So now let's focus on your singing in harmony. When you're singing in chorus, there must be complete understanding between the whole group. Emilia, you shine in your solo, but in the chorus part, you lack harmony with the others. Try to keep in time and in tune with Mia and Joni. And your singing volume should also be the same as the others. And Mia, you have the best singing skills of the three of you. Not only is your singing accurate, you also sing in harmony and make up the parts where Joni is lacking. He praised me. 
How about me? Huh? You only praised me and Amelia. I also worked hard this week too, you know. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. You're going out of tune less often. Ah, let go of my hair. What kind of praise is that? Anyways, that made me up jealous. The next day, Candy Jam is not looking good. They're not looking at all. Like, what's happening? What's happening? And Mika scolds them. Man, I mean, I know they were bad, but do you really have to be so harsh? Yeah, I know this is difficult for you, but I really hope you can be more confident on stage. Perhaps you can learn by watching Joni. Why? Why do you only pay attention to Joni? I can't! I know I can never catch up with Joni! I know I can never be as good as her! I... I feel bad. Welcome to the green page, where these two pages look very green. You must think I'm such an... Uh, I was too harsh. I'm really sorry. Actually, you're the best singer of the three of you. But you just don't have confidence. So it basically says, Mia reminded him of him when he was little, because he lost a competition because he wasn't looking at the eyes of the audience. So, how do you overcome that? You look at the eyebrows or the forehead. I honestly just go look at the forehead. The second method is the most effective way. Imagine all the people in front of your sweet potatoes, yams, green peppers, and carrots, and then perform as naturally as you can. The most important thing is, when you are singing, a smile is your best weapon. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I made everyone worry. Ah, I'm so relieved. I thought you hated me. Friendship goals. Hmm. I didn't appear much in this chapter. Oops. And now, Candy Jam has officially finished their training. They can now go on and make their own decisions. But it turns out Mikhail went to the school as well. What you need to focus on right now is preparing for the contest. Do your best. <laughs> so dramatic. What was troubling him? Hey, Joni! What? What is it? I said, what now? We're supposed to be working hard together. What are you daydreaming about? No, 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 nothing. I was just, uh, what are we talking about? <sighs> Anyways, Jody is not allowed to help out Mia and Amelia prepare the stage outfits because she's no good at, at sewing at all. So, Joni is forced to go home alone. But she's right. I must use this time to train my voice as much as I can so we can win. Besides, that's what Mikael would say too. Uh, why am I thinking of that guy now? Joni then finds Sophia crying because she said Zara and Christina hates her. So they became friends. By friends, I mean Sophia actually tricked her to eat as much food as she possibly can that will hurt her throat. Now, Joni's voice is hoarse. Hey, monkey boy! I know you're here! Right Get down here right now! Joni? That weird voice was you? What's wrong with your voice? I'm in trouble! I can't sing at all with my voice like this! I'm gonna drag it down! Calm down and tell me exactly what happened. First of all, did you eat anything weird? I ate lots of food yesterday. Did you eat any spicy or fried food? Well, three pieces of fried chicken, french fries, curry puffs, spicy tofu, tom yum soup, and just how much did you eat? Well, but Sophia kept insisting I would have been rude to refuse. And it all tasted so good, so I kept on eating and eating. 
Sophia, the rival? I can't believe she's so tricky. I knew I shouldn't have eaten all that, so I had lots of cold drinks to make my throat feel better. But that would just make things worse. Anyway, Joni is not allowed to sing or speak. Because of that, Joni is very much in a bad mood. And Amelia and Mia are suspicious about it. Like, why? Good news! Our costumes are nearly done. Do you want to come to my house later and try them on? Sorry, I'm busy today. Huh? Joni! She runs to Mikael. What's the matter? Mia wanted us to try on the costumes together. Mia and Amelia have worked so hard to make our costumes. They just ran away from them. You couldn't just tell them the truth? Well, how could I? They were so busy with the costumes. And I didn't want to worry them. They already had enough to do. I used to understand, girls. This is the first time I've seen you really act like a girl. Yeah. Are you playing that I'm not girly enough? Whoa, whoa, your throat hasn't fully recovered yet. So don't shout. Mm. Alright, drink this. What's that? My secret weapon. What? Wow, what is this so sweet and yummy? It's honey tea. Amelia and Mia overheard their conversation and was fine of it to be honest. Time went on and the competition day has finally arrived. Welcome parents and students. The content will begin shortly. Before we begin, we request everyone to kindly turn off your mobile phones. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey! Huh? Why are you here? I was a student here, so I'm allowed to be here. Where are Mia and Amelia? They told me to wait here while they pick our number. We're about to go on stage soon. Oh my! Could, could it be that the big, fearless Joni has stage fright? I'm so not in the mood. I haven't been practicing. Will it be alright? Yeah! Bye! I'll fight back! Hold on. Well, what are you doing? This is my technique to overcome stage fright. First, I write the word fear on my palm and then I swallow it. Now I'm no longer afraid of anything! <laughs> Wait, you can't actually believe such superstition. The method isn't important. The most important thing is that I'm going to face my fear and defeat it. Even if I lose today, I will always love music and I will always love singing. You're absolutely right, Joni. That's the way. Eh, why did he grab my hand? This is embarrassing. Joni, we need to line up now. Yeah! Joni, do you like Mika? What? Me? Like him? No way! I've never thought of that before. I spent a lot of time with him because I needed his advice and he's also very reliable. Uh, he taught us a lot and I'm very grateful for his help. Mia, why are you asking such strange questions before the big showdown? Mia, do you like Mikhail? So that's why you were unhappy to see us together during the practices. You're right, I do like him. I was pretty jealous to see you two together, even when you were bickering. Yeah. But I've decided to forget all those negative thoughts because I don't want to be troubled by this anymore. Mikhail was right. I need to learn from you both to overcome my lack of confidence. I want you to know that the reason I sing is not to impress Mikhail, but because I value your friendship. That's what matters most to me. Yeah. Aww. So anyways, it's time to sing. That the red roses, right? <laughs> We're good. We have to do better. We're going to. And they lost. Candy Jen is the winner! 
Wait, who is this? This is not... This is not the headmaster. Dun dun dun. Look, Mika, we won! Congratulations. Now Mika is ready to face his future and go to Pro, one of the classical music capitals of the world. Mika gave, ne gave his star necklace thing to Joni and it's time to go. Anyways, Joni cried about it so... Oh, and he said he'll write to us from overseas. I even exchanged email addresses with him. So let's all write to him, okay, Mia? Okay. Now, the three best friends live happily ever after. As best friends. And that is how this book ended. <sighs> I quite like this book. The storyline is actually pretty interesting. I feel like the only thing that confuses me are the things that confuses me. But overall, it's actually pretty good. I, I like this. And look, a little quiz. Are you more like Joni, Mia, or Amelia? Mm. I got Mia. You are rather delicate and sensitive, so you show consideration and gentleness to everyone and maintain good control over your dem demeanor. Sometimes you may overthink things and create headaches for yourself. Um, it is the first book. It, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. I quite like this book. It is the beginning of a long candy journey ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.